that's that. A Peggy Gator Gal underscore LPS4. You can find it on Wattpad, Quotev, or even Amino. Specifically, the Splatoon Amino. Chapter 1 Disinfectant. Army awoke from his bed in a miserable state. He hadn't slept for weeks, and he never, he never explained to anyone why. He walked down to the kitchen in the early crack of dawn. He turned on the kitchen faucet and began to cough up ink and blood, some of which was sanitized. I can't go back to that place. I, I just can't. I'll end up like everyone else there, brainwashed, in insane. His had a frightened tone to his speech. What am I supposed to do? I can't tell them, or else they'll be killed. Army looked at his inzap and grabbed it. It's either me or my friends. Then everything in the house went eerily silent. About a month had passed, and no one had heard from Army, nor had any of them found out what happened to him. Oh, so you haven't heard from him either, Ryder asked slowly. I'm sorry, but no, I haven't, he replied shakily. It's not like Army to just abandon his friends and teammates like that, Ritter said lamely. I'm gonna go check on him. Maybe he's been hyper-focused on his monthly manual writing, Bill suggested. Maybe, it's just, he has never acted the same way before, as before he got that new job, Ritter said. Yeah, the last time we saw him, he wasn't himself. His normal self. Skull said, remembering what happened. The last time they saw him was a meeting for strategy exchanges. Ugh, what is taking Army so long? He knows we're having a meeting tonight, Ryder griped. But Army's never late. He's usually on time, Speck said, confused. Ah, I'm getting impatient, Matt grumbled. Army stumbled in a bit. Hey guys, I'm sorry I'm late, he groaned. There he is, Bobble said with a smile. Hey, uh, why are you so late? It's not like you, Aloha asked. Sorry, I was just, um, at work. You sure work a lot now, Headphone said startledly. Anyways, he's here, Bubble said, jumping up with excitement. Ah! Ormy screamed and backed away fast. Oh my, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, Bubble sat back down. Are you okay? Bubbles asked. I don't think I've ever seen you so frightened before, Bill said. Especially a bobble, Mask added. Y yeah, Army said. So, how's your new job? Spex asked. N new job? Yeah, at that field research facility, Spex. Yeah, I, I gotta go. Army suddenly ran outside. Everyone panicked and called out for him, but it was futile. Army had disappeared into the night. I'm gonna go find him, right? Skull told Ryder. Good luck, Ryder said before hanging up. Skull made his way to Army's house and managed to come across Aloha. Yo, Skull, where are you headed off to? Aloha asked. Oh, hey, Aloha. I'm just going to see if I can talk to... Army at his house, Skull said. Oh, he hasn't spoken to you either? Yeah. I keep live streaming, but he never views them. It's. Oh, I'll fight back to you. It's like we aren't friends anymore. Don't worry. I'll go see what's wrong. I promise I'll ask about his reasons why. Skull approached Army's house and rang the doorbell. Army! He called. Weird. He has mail sitting out still. He rings the door doorbell again. When he got no response, he knocked on the door. Huh? It, it's unlocked. Skull pushed his way inside. Army, are you- <gasps> Skull suddenly gasped. Army lay lifeless on the floor before him, ink everywhere. Army! Army! Army, wake up! Army! No! No! Oh my god! He's... he's dead! Chapter 2 Quarantine Skull stood frozen in place, trembling in horror. 
He stared at Armory's lifeless body and began to breathe in a panicked manner. He sobbed softly. What am I going to do? He Skull began to panic. This, this can't be happening. This just can't... I have to call Ryder. Skull panicked and dialed Ryder and waited for him until he picked up. Hello? Ryder responded. Ryder! Ryder, it's me, Skull. Oh, Skull, is you're back so soon? Um, no, it's... Uh, it's Army. He's... He's dead! What? Don't panic. I'll contact the rest of the S4 and Team Blue, and we'll be there shortly. Okay, thanks, Ryder. Skull hung up and waited for them. When everyone arrived, Specs and Headphones and Ainsley went to calm and comfort Skull, who was visibly shaken. Mask and Aloha began questioning him. Everyone seemed worried. Is everything okay? Knuckles asked. Why don't you see for yourself? Skull said softly. Mask opened Army's door, front door, and stepped inside. Um, Skull, there's nothing here. What? Skull screeched. Everyone rushed inside to look. Army's body was missing. Oh, crud. That's a lot of ink and blood everywhere. Specs said, said in shock and disbelief. No, I saw him. He was right here, right here in front of me. He's plugged his on my ear. Skull said, horrified. Skull, are you sure you saw him? Aloha asked. Of course I'm sure he's our best friend. Skull began to tear up. Army? Gone? Bobble began to tear up. <laughs> but where did his body go? Zombies don't exist, right? Bobble asked. Of course they aren't real, Raider snapped. Well, I called Muna. She's on her way. If any one of our friends knows how to examine the dead and murder scenes, it's her, Mask said. Okay, Skull replied. They all waited outside of Army's house to, to await the results. It's okay, Skull. Everything's going to be okay, sweetheart. Headphones said, com headphones comforted. How can I calm down? Skull sobbed. Loha sat facing away, everyone panicking. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Muno walked out. The results just came in. Everyone turned to look at her. They're positive. The ink and the blood are all his. It seems old, like it's been there a few weeks. But I'm unsure of how his body disappeared without sweating. A few weeks? It must have been after the meeting, Ryder said. Oh my god, Beck said, Beck said sadly. He must be still alive. He can't be gone, Aloha shouted. And what do you mean? His ink is, the ink is his. Muna sighed. I'm sorry, but it's most likely that he did this to himself. Are you crazy? He never do that. He talked to his friends first. The bubble shouted. I I could be wrong, but it, it could, that could be the case. But only his fingerprints show up on his hands now. Muna said. Well. There were some other things that seemed really recent, but I can't make out who it was. What kind of person would do this to him? Aloha asked. We don't know if it was another person, Muna said. If Harvey was still alive, he'd be with us right now. Specs reasoned. Unless he ran away. Oh, oh, Aloha sighed. Or unless someone else took his body, Skull exclaimed. What kind of heartless creature would do that? Headphones asked. Are there any signs of stress or depression in his life? Muna asked. Well, actually, yeah. The last time we... Me the last meeting we had, he seemed horrified and paranoid. The writer said. Was there anything going on in his life that you guys were aware of? Muna questioned. Well, one thing's for sure. Team Order's loss did make him a bit frightened, but... He was never the same after getting that job in that field research facility! Aloha shouted. We can't just assume it was the workplace, Mask said. Yeah, but... You really think a simple organization job... That... That caused him to do this? He enjoys that stuff! You're... you're right. After everyone left, Aloha snuck back into Army's house via the be his bedroom window. Aloha knew that Army kept the daily log. He had a feeling that if there was something that 
had happened, Army would have, was bound to have written about it. Well, they spoke down in his log. He hoped they would have. He hoped they would hold the answers to the tragic mystery.